What's up, y'all? Shuffle, and today we're going to do a Team of the Week video. We're going to change it up a little bit. So we're running a team with Shieldbreaker and uh, Leper and Jestel, which is, you know, that's whatever. We're also going to show off something new. We're going to do a few things in this video. So, Nizumi, a.k.a. Rodent Chubbs, and some other people, uh, Thick, and I forget the third person, but there's a Reddit thread I can link it below. But they found out how to do colors to names. So, in honor of King Crimson, this team of the week is going to show off not only, you know, like the, the ripple effect of the Leper Guide, but... Whenever I attack with Leper, I'm going to cut out 10 seconds of the video. So I'm going to make sure that I don't prepare myself mentally for it. So, just to make it as awkward as possible. But yeah. So, JoJo's Part 5. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. How does King Crimson work? I have no clue. So, three Ancestor Relics. We don't have enough scouting. No, we have like 75. That's good enough. But... With Jestel, it's interesting because people just don't like this this combo. They're like, you know, it's just too effective, it's too easy, stuff like that. But it's actually, there there are a lot of reasons to like it. It's it's a very sustaining backline, so you need a frontline that can handle a lot of stuff. Because it can't reach backline that effectively. So what we're going to do is we time that. Um, we Dirk Stab, because we're going to run Dirk Stab over Slice Off, which is something I thought about doing. Pierce is really good against the Snail specifically until that happens. Feels bad, man. Also, why did my Shield Breaker go last? Out of everyone on the team, SB's at 11, so she's only one point over them, but then Leper. Good stuff, Leper. So we're going to have to... I have Captivate, so I need to put on... This is awkward. So I need to be able to move Shield Breaker back, so I need to put on, like, Adder's Kiss or something. But, um, this will just buff up here. It's more awkward than I was anticipating. Um, I think we can just start, yeah. That was the right call. Pierce is a fair move. I was just going to tank through it, but maybe that was a mistake. Who can say for sure? The stun's pretty nice. Very fortunate with that. I started playing with, uh, God, I wish he'd use Salem in 3. It'd be so much better. It's already amazing, but, um, yeah, like, if I use Salem in 3, I could Dirk Stab Pass, I think we'd be fine, but, no. You don't have this capability. We're going to Zap, actually, to soften it up so Leper can finish it off here. Alright, hopefully we roll high. We got to roll high enough. Okay, we have to crit at this point, but if we crit, then the fight's over, or we can just set up Heals Badman. Taking the damage. Oh, I forgot to switch my moves. Can I retreat? Please. Are we in his finale? I think we're going to Dirk Stab past. Um, I should probably be running. Instead of Intimidate, I should have withstand. So I could like Dirk Stab past Leper and he has something to do. That's not just sitting there not attacking. Um. Uh, yeah, I don't want my backline disrupted, so I want to get rid of the, the backline on the enemy team here. We'll pop holy water to be safe, just in case. This is why we put Signet Ring on Shield Breaker. Okay, Puncture is going to get some use. That was a good play by the Guardian, too, because I could just heal if he guarded this dude. But he didn't. He's actually outplaying me. Inspiration uh, and group heal. Stun might have been better there. I'm not quite sure. Okay, I might actually puncture this dude. And just yank him up here. And then attack afterwards. Okay, good dodge, Jester. We needed that. So we set up for... Oh, this is perfect turn order. So we set up for finale, potentially with the crit dice. I just him up. Good dodge, Leper. Even though we have the focus ring. Um... It was awkward. The guard comes off this turn. Yeah, I, I can't do it yet. I really need to set up the shield breaker here. We'll stun so we don't take more stress, because stress is kind of a pain in the butt. And... I just killed him. Man! Alright, please don't bleed me. You bled me. I was asking you explicitly not to do that. 
Yeah, it seems kind of stalling out without the, the ability to move Shield Breaker back. I just have Pierce. As good as Pierce is. As dumb of a move as Pierce is. I mean, look at this. Why Why am I allowed to reach back there? I don't understand. I can dodge. Dodges are kind of nice, TBH. Um, screw it. We're going to set up Finale. Just stun this turn. Then we can Finale next turn and we're safe. Since there might be a fight outside, we're going to block to get our... Get our speed back up. Pass! Does that count as the 10 second? I don't know. I didn't attack, so I guess... I guess it doesn't. <sighs> the spear that stabs Jester in Finale is also bloody, which I find strange. Alright, we need to get... Is we already captivate? Is it Puncture? I think it's Pierce. As good of a move as Pierce is, I need Captivate so I can like stay in the back or like in rank two or whatever to set up Jester. Oh, nice quest location. Yes, I'm not picking up loot. You can be jealous for the fact that I don't need loot on this file. It's pretty nice. Part of me wishes, uh, wishes I picked a shorter dungeon, but you know what? It's chill. It's very chill. We have Jestel. Like, literally the most brain-dead team comp in the game. But what I think is interesting is when... We have to go down this way just to make sure. But yeah, whenever I've been... Um, recording off-camera and stuff, like the last couple days, to make sure I have everything for the lever guide, for instance, the weird thing that's been happening is I just don't get hunger checks, and I don't know why. I should be getting them. And it ain't happening. Now we're taking a fight that we don't need to. But you know what? We're here, damn it. Should have took the log to my thing. I usually don't take it, but I've got like a million gold on this account or this file. Oh. Nice. Oh no. No, that's gonna pull her though. I freaking hate groupers, dude. I hate this enemy so much. Like, it's always crit spear fishing, it's always movements. Did I not put Sway back on? So we're gonna puncture the madman because he can't be guarded at that point either. It's on the enemy side. So that's cool. Dirk stab! Look at that, exactly 20. Showing you what's up. Let me stun. Group heal's pretty nice there, but I think stunning is still slightly better. Alright, we're gonna yank. We're gonna get some massive hue value right here. Alright, it went first. We dodged. Outplayed. Grouper should have played better. It stopped playing at peak painful. Charge up one more time, then we're gonna have to... What do we have? Adders? We're gonna adders out of the way. Now group heal gets pretty good. Adders. And probably Hugh one more time. Yeah, we need to. Oh no, we can intimidate. Intimidate gets pretty interesting. Leper can take the damage. Resisting bleed feels freaking good, man. Yeah, see, I need to like Dirk stab on turn three, but this dude just screwed it up for me. Uh, time for some captivate value. Look at we're doing all this damage with all the with uh can't even say it with all of our other stuff. Getting punched again. Nice. That was like max damage. Bleeding. Nice. Well played. Probably didn't have to do that. <laughs> I need a bandage. I need a hero. Alright. So we took a fight that we didn't have to because we're trying to make sure we have the... Uh, the... The quest items. What's pretty nice about the medium missions is when you can find ones where you gather. Like, the gather ones are really good. They're probably the best. Not the gather. The activates are probably the best missions in the game. Because sometimes they have the potential to be very short. You just have to, like, scout it. So you need scouting. But when do you not need scouting? You know? 
You can also kind of gauge what's happening. So right here, I got the first one here, and I didn't realize the next box was, like, right outside. But, um, just looking at the layout of the map, it was a pretty easy risk, especially seeing this here, to just skip this hallway and go this way, because there's a, there's a very slim chance the last one's down there. It can happen, but it doesn't always happen. It's 105 today in California. Like, it was... It was blistering. It was omega hot. I forgot to change my moves! It's okay. We're good. I think Hugh gets some good value here. We're setting that one up to die. So now we get Dirk Stab. Yeah. This feels much better. Although the fight's just over right now. Like, I could actually... I, like, I could kill this one with Shield Breaker and then maybe kill this one with Leper. And then I get to... It feels good to press finale. It's an okay move. It's not It's not the best move at all. But it is fun to press that button. So I guess we're going to ditch the rest of our torches here. At least that stack. I could just eat my food and heal up with it, but... It's fine. I have to camp at some point, too. I don't think I had to do that. I wasn't paying attention. Spirits are lifted. And purpose is made clear. Ah, that sucks. Ancient traps lie in wait. It's another reason Those herbs are so good here. The trap debuff from blood. the cove trap is really nasty. It's like minus three or four speed, minus twenty dodge, which is kind of crappy. Kind of crappy. If I can be quite honest. Got a a stealth bandit expose. Where are you? We don't have it. Salem gets pretty interesting here. Since my stress is getting up there a little bit. I'm gonna work on kill rank 2 right now. A decisive ah, Hugh gets a little bit better just because of that. So I think we're gonna... Balanced. Why are we getting critted? Stop it! Um... This is awkward because I can't captivate this dude. He's faster than... He's slower than I am right now, so I have to... I have to do this instead, so I don't get a finale this time, but it's fine. Well, we can still heal into him, which is pretty good. And you might group heal right now. I don't know why this dude does stress with that attack. It makes no sense. It's one of the things I hate most in this game. Just stress cleaves in general. No, he's going to crit me. I right, didn't. Um, I might slam actually. Get that stress off. And then... Work the stress down here. We're gonna use adders on this dude. It's probably gonna go first. No? Okay. 4 to 8. Oh, we have 4! Please! Nice! Alright, that dude's dead. So I could probably Salem again. No, I can't. I have to get rid of this dude. That was a good scout. Double scout? Oh, the mission's over. Nice. It's at the bottom. Very cool. But you can see what I was saying, right? This It's very effective just because... We can use this curio for once in our lives. God, it feels like it's so worthless. But... Yeah, especially like late game when Shieldbreaker gets more tanky. It's a very durable front line, and Shield Breaker enables a lot of stuff. This is actually an Intimidate. I'm kind of thinking it's Intimidate, so we, we probably need to stun. So we can do stun, adders, set up rank 2 to die to captivate. I'm not sure. I hope it's not as blistering hot wherever you're living as it was today here. It was not nice. I think we do Intimidate. It's doing a good job. It's not even the de-stealth, it's like the, the shifted amount of speed. So the enemy loses speed and then Leopard gains speed, which is pretty nice. It's also one of those things where if you haven't watched the Leopard Guide yet, because it should be out before this video, then you should be doing it. Stabbing this dude. I think we're going to hue this turn. This is a good hue turn. We have to hit for 10, which is possible. You resisted? Nani? 
How do you resist? I don't understand. I think I have to start using Selene the Slipper's Dying. <laughs> I have never seen the Shaman. Okay, no. Let's say heal this much, but no, it buffed. It's It knows that it's about to get up there and start using Ceremonial Cut. And so it has to get its, uh, its damage up. So we are going to finale here. Nice. Good damage. Crit dice. Doing stuff. Um, We could stall here. Like, we could just try and ice the front dude and then stall for healing, which is actually not a bad thing to do right now. Sure that. I'm, uh... I'm chilling here and I get some time to heal because I desperately need it. This guy, I don't even think he can hit for enough damage to really threaten us right now, so we're just gonna block. Best case scenario is, it, is he punches my block here. But if he hits Lapper, it's not gonna do that much. Oh, we got the crit buff, so that's why it was more. No, of course not. Yep, I'm pretty sure that's max too. So, good job. Pelagic Shaman does not misplay. Great feel. Nice. Um, Dirk Stab gets interesting if we have it. Look at this! Dude, I don't get it! I don't get it. Just too smart. Too good. Too smart of an enemy. Remind yourself that overconfidence is I definitely can't be in the last room. Hopefully there's not a fight, but there probably is. Snakes! Only trace snakes though. It would have been nice to stick that, but I understand. Where's Illumination at? Can I even use it in rank 4? I forget what it is. No. Okay, I guess we can punch that thing next turn. But these get like 12% extra crit in stealth. So I need to use some Holy Waters here with Leper and stuff. Yeah, because of the shit. Oh, goodness. Mad didn't crit me. It's good. Yeah, it should have stunned there. I, I think I played that too fast. So I wasn't thinking. So now he no we can oh we can't intimidate because it's guarded. Stupid snakes. So overstatted. I'm supposed to use more holy water because like the bleed chance is very high on these. These it feels like. Um. Nice. That's pretty good. I feel like I'm one crit away from dying right now. I'm very scared of this crap. Um, I think we just chop into it. Is actually dying. I think we're gonna Dirk Stab into the... Nice. Good, then we can finale the Rattler after this. We can probably Dirk Stab twice, honestly. Solid Snake. We gonna bleed again? Good. Holy Water... Oh, Holy Water just came off, I think. Didn't I use Holy Water? Am I tripping? I thought I used it. I should have cured this blade too. That was a mistake. Hopefully we can kill it this turn. We're gonna take an extra like four damage watch. Nice. These finales are doing stuff. Um four to eight. Six to twelve. Let's go for the guaranteed kill. Aegis. It's one of the nice parts about having a, an estate last this long, is you get to like farm snakes and stuff, so I have like 50, um... In radiance, may we 50 find Aegis victory. scales. Alright, we're done. Cool, let's camp out. So I guess that's gonna be the video. Um, you can see it seems very easy and maze. effective and just brain dead in a lot of ways, so... If you're having trouble, like this team gets better at veteran. It's kind of not as good early game because I kind of need some different trinkets, but then also Shieldbreaker's not that good out the gate. But, um... Let's try and heal everyone with Leper. Alright. Are we done? Oh, let's wound care. Okay. Alright, full HP. Woohoo! Alright, I don't know what the next Team of the Week video is, but... Yeah, that was this one. Pretty straightforward with a team like this. 
So I'm sorry if I didn't explain enough stuff. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Let's look at the quirks. Let us look at quirks. Got a candle. Fading, <laughs> no! Ooh. Right, we got one good one. I've been trying to get good quirks on this uh, vessel. She hasn't been able to. All right, so we're done. Thanks for watching. Next time, other videos.